Hi, I am Raghu Kamath and welcome to another video of Digital Art with Free Software. These videos are for complete beginners in Krita and digital painting. In the last video, we learned about layers and net types. In this video, we will learn about masks in Krita. It won't be possible to contain everything in one episode, so I am going to split this into three parts. So, let's start. In a broader sense, masking is just hiding or revealing parts of the canvas while working on a painting. In traditional medium, masking tapes, stencils, rubber cement solution, etc. are used to keep the parts of the canvas or paper from getting painted. Photographers often painted the unwanted parts of the photographs with white or sometimes even painted on the film to edit them. In digital painting, we hide and reveal parts by using specialized layer mechanism called masks. Here, the color black and white determine the areas that are to be masked. Black color hides the area and white color reveals an area. Like this. The amount of black or white also determines the opacity of the area. For example, an area covered with 50% gray will have only 50% opacity. Krita offers many types of mask. Click on the downward pointing arrow beside the plus icon in the bottom of the layer docker to access these masks. Selection masks. We are going to learn about these in this video. Then transparency masks. These are used to control transparency of layer or group. Filter mask. These are used to apply filter effects to parts of layer or group. Transform mask. These are used to control transformation of a layer or a group. And lastly, colorize mask. Instead of hiding parts of the canvas with black and white input color, it accepts color and helps us to colorize line art or a layer automatically. We will go through each one of them in this series. But first, let's talk about the selection mask. Yes, you heard that right. In Krita, selections are also a type of mask. Selection masks are represented on the canvas by these moving dotted lines that you can see here more commonly known as marching ants. Selection masks help you select a particular area on the canvas and limit the paint or effect to that particular area. Similar to that masking tape that I showed earlier. Alright, to create a selection mask, we use these selection tools in the toolbar. All these icons which have dotted lines in them are tools to create selections. Choose one of the selection tool. For example, let's take this rectangular selection tool and then draw on the canvas to make your selection. So now that you made the selection, let us see how to edit it. Alright, first let us add or subtract the selections. There are modifier shortcuts to help us do that. When we press and hold the shift key before drawing the selection, we can add a selection into the existing one. And if we press and hold the Alt key before drawing it, you can see that the uh, icon has changed to minus. This means that we will be subtracting from the selection. To move the selection while making it, just draw a selection and then press Alt. Then you can choose and position your selection on the canvas. We can also move an existing selection by hovering our cursor over the marching ants like this. The cursor will turn into the move icon. Now we can drag and move our selection. Pressing the shift key after you draw the selection on the canvas will constrain its aspect ratio to 1 is to 1 like this. This is how you get perfect square and circles. Pressing the control key after drawing will draw the selection from the center. You can see the little X there. That is the center of the selection. There are various options available in the tool option docker here for each of these selection tools. To further edit an active selection, go to select menu and then click on edit selection. 
or if you already have a selection tool active just right click on the canvas and click edit selection now you can edit your selection with the select shape tool you can resize rotate or move it in this mode you can also paint on the selection with your brush and if you see here in the layer stack your selection is actually a mask you are painting on it with black gray and white now to deselect this again go to the select menu and press deselect there is also a shortcut control shift a if you want to bring back the selection go to select menu again and press reselect it will load the last selection that you made there are two types of selection masks the first is global selection mask which we can use to affect any selected layer and the second is local selection mask which is tied and linked to a single layer unlike the local selection mask the global selection mask is not shown here by default to make it appear in the layer docker just go to select menu and check show global selection mask now when you make a selection it will show up at the top of the layer stack like so when you have a selection active and you try to draw or paint on the canvas you can see that the paint is getting only applied within the bounds of this selection you can choose any layer and try to paint on it as long as this selection is active only this particular area of the layer is affected let me show you one more example if i select only this portion and try to apply a blur filter to it the filter will be applied to only this part of the layer so this is how global selection mask work now let us look at the local selection mask local selection mask is a way to link and limit the selection to a particular layer let's see how to add a local selection mask you add a selection on the canvas then click on this downward pointing arrow and click on local selection now our selection is added and linked to that particular layer if you select any other layer it will be turned off and if you go to that layer again you have your selection you can add as many local selection as you want you can also move the local selections to other layers just drag them over the other layer hold down control and drag it over the name of other layer it will add a copy of that selection like this local selections are a nice way to save your selections within the document we can enable or disable a selection by clicking on this dotted circular icon beside the selection name like this and we can also change the way the selection is shown on the canvas to toggle the display mode click on the square icon with a circle inside it at the bottom of the status bar here it will show non selected part with semi transparent red color and the selected part will be transparent let's go back to the marching ants okay some of you might find the marching ants to be distracting you can temporarily hide these by pressing control and h or by going to the select menu and unchecking display selection now let us learn how selections are useful in digital painting while you are working selection masks are a quick way to select a part of your painting spontaneously and edit them for example if i don't like this leg i can select it with the free hand selection tool and then i can edit it make it smaller or bigger it will only affect the selected part sometimes at the later stage of the painting where we have everything merged into one layer we might want to tweak the background to make the character pop out for example here the background is also green and the character is also green and it is all getting merged so i can load the selection 
and apply adjustment to only the background I can change the color maybe maybe lighten or darken it I can also add a filter such as blur sometimes we may need to remove the background and for that we can select the character fortunately I have a local selection here so let's load that up and then we can invert the selection by pressing ctrl shift i and select the layer and then press delete sometimes when I don't have a local selection added to the layer and I may need to clean up areas like these what I do is I hold down the control key and click on the layer thumbnail Krita will load a selection encompassing all the pixel in that layer all I have to do is inverse the selection and then select that layer and press delete I also use the similar color selection tool here to quickly select parts of the image having the same color like this then I can tweak those like this there is also the magnetic selection tool it works well with the objects having edges so selections are a good way to clean up add adjustments to the part of the image to make it pop out so that's it for today I hope you got to know the basics of the selection mask in Krita in the next episode we will learn about transparency mask and filter mask make sure to comment if you have any feedback or suggestions for this video Thank you.